Unbeaten in his mixed martial arts career. 16 and 0 overall. 8 and 0 inside the octagon. The fifth Brazilian to own a UFC championship, and he wants to defend that title again tonight. And interesting about Leota Machida is before the Shogun fight, the last person to hit him cleanly was BJ Penn. A fight many, many years before that. And this, first of all, it shows you how badass BJ Penn is, but it also shows you how elusive Leota Machida is, considering the level of competition that he had faced. Tiago Silva, Tito Ortiz, Sokaju, Nakamura, David Heath, none of those guys were really able to land power shots against him. Shogun hit Machida more times than in all of the previous seven fights that Machida had inside the octagon. That's, that's very impressive. Leona Machida has a very, very unorthodox style. The karate stance, his moving in and out, starting almost like a fencer, very perplexing to opponents. The first guy to really, truly figure it out was Shogun. And even though he lost the decision, he was the most successful opponent in Leona's career. Light heavyweight title is on the line. Machida, the karate kid. Black belt in karate, his father still trains with him daily. October 24, 2009 was chapter one. Chapter two takes place tonight here in Montreal. The UFC light heavyweight champion, Leoto, the Dragon Machida. Our tale of the tape for our main event of the evening. Brazilian against Brazilian. 31 years old is Machida. 28 is Shogun. Shogun will have a two-inch reach advantage. Let the battle continue. With the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, two UFC light heavyweight warriors have now entered the world's ultimate proving ground for champions, where they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the world-famous octagon, as this is the main event of the evening! Sectioned by the Quebec Athletic Commission, with Commissioner Michelle Hamlin, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Sal Diabato, Pasquale Procopio, and Tony Weeks. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Eve Leving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. From the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins with four losses. Standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out a Cura team of Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former Pride Grand Prix champion presenting the challenger, Mauricio Shogun.
Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a perfect professional record, 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Belen, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Lioto the Dragon Machida! Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. We touch gloves. Let's begin round six. The champion, the challenger. The title is on the line. Lyoto Machida uh, against Mauricio Shogun Hua. Are you ready, sir? You ready? Fight! Here we go! White trunks for Shogun. Black trunks for Machida. Didn't take long for that first kick to be thrown. And already Machida has checked a kick, something he didn't do much of in the first fight. Caught him in the thigh with the second one. Right to what was his bread and butter in the first matchup. Leona Machida loves to counter Joe. Machida had trouble landing his strikes in the first matchup. An interesting point that was brought up to me by David Loazzo was that Leono broke his hand in the first fight. And that hand has not been tested in combat since. And what David Loazzo felt was that that was going to play a big part in the confidence of Machida. Machida had surgery on his left hand one week after that victory, Joe. What I thought was interesting was that Machida, several times earlier in this round, was in an orthodox stance as opposed to his normal southpaw stance. And that could be one of the reasons for that. Checked again. It also could be part of the strategy to avoid that right leg kick. At least not Lee. Oh, Take big down. takedown. Half guard. At least make it a moving target. Don't let him just tee off. This is the 29th Shogun pushing time. down. He could be looking for a leg lock here, Mike. He is an excellent leg lock specialist. He's looking for a helicopter sweep. Back up to his feet. Shogun trying to throw some knees to Machida. And again. Working those legs. On the release, Shogun. Throws the right hand. Shogun pushing forward. Shogun, relentless. He nailed him. He nailed him with that one, Mike. And he wobbled him, too. He nailed Machida him, and then he hit him with a leg the kick. Down again. Joe, I started to say this is the 29th time we have had a rematch. In the 28 previous second matches, the original winner won 13 times. The loser won 13 times, and the other two went to a draw. Wow. That proves nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It proves, man, that's why they fight again. Yeah. Well, that's one of the beautiful things about MMA. This is so unpredictable. Beautiful knee to the body by Lyoto. The Dragon 8-0 in the UFC, 16-0 overall. Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfort, Murillo Bustamante, Minotauro Noguera. The other Brazilians to own a nice UFC Nice knee by Lioto again on the break. Shogun working the legs, but Lioto's landing some real good shots. Lioto switching that stance again, Joe. Yeah, exactly. We, we don't know how that left hand is. And that could all... Nice knee to the body.
Shogun Hua. That man had a lot of pent-up frustration based on the first fight, and he just took it out on Lyoto Machida. Wow. As soon as he got the full mount, Lyoto was in deep, deep trouble, and there he's out. Let's take a look at it again. He lands a beautiful knee to the body. Shogun clips him with that one on the temple. Lands a few more, gets the full mount. And the lights go out in Georgia. He promised not to leave it up to the judges this time. And he delivers by knockout. Spectacular performance by Mauricio Shogun Hua. The uncrowned champion is now the champ. Mauricio Shogun Hua is the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by knockout and new Thank you for everybody. I promise the biggest show every time here. I love you, Canada. Did you feel any additional pressure to try to finish this fight after the controversial decision in the first fight? O que, que você acha que é, teve diferente na luta que te motivou com toda a controvérsia que houve na outra decisão? Como é que foi esse momento para você? O Lioto é um grande atleta, um grande pessoa. Treinei muito para isso. E essa vez, em vez de só com o chute, trabalhei em minha mão. Eu consegui acertá-lo e fui feliz. Lioto is, Lioto is a great fighter, he's very good. And this time, instead of working and focusing so much on my kicks, I worked a lot on my hands, so I could surprise him, and I was happy with my new strategy. Congratulations on a spectacular performance. You are now the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mauricio Shogun 